Hey everybody, Josh KI6NAZ. I'm back again with another fun little project. I've been asked a couple of times by many of you to come up with a way of powering amateur radio equipment with tool batteries, rechargeable drill batteries, impact drivers, that kind of stuff. And so that's what we're doing today. We're gonna build a device that will allow us to put out the 13.8 volts for most radios as well as five volts for USB. What might be we doing with that? Hmm, let's talk about it. I was thinking about portable power and I was thinking about drill batteries. Here's one such battery. Hercules 20 volt lithium five amp hour by Harbor Freight. They also have something called Bauer and some other cheapy ones. But I thought, well, these batteries are everywhere kind of in the world now. How do we leverage these 20 volts, five amp hours for amateur radio? Obviously 20 volts is not congruent, but five amp hours well, that'll run a QRP radio all day, possibly all weekend. So I thought there's got to be some 3D printed models out there. And sure enough, there are um, that can get you to the point of power adapter capability. So with this here, and then you add some spade connectors and bolt this into the back. And, and now you have a battery connection. Well, I decided to take it a step further and printed up a box with a hole and then two adapters for things like USB and an Anderson's. And I'm gonna couple that with a buck converter, which is a one input, two output buck converter. You adjust these screws until you get the right output that you want for 12 volts. So the goal here is gonna to be to put this in this box, mount it to the mounting bracket and then they will live together. Obviously, I made a little lid to go with it, but no holes in this yet, no active cooling. That's all something that can come later. But the first thing is to just get this all together and try. So let's put this all together and see what happens. Building a buck converter-based drill battery backup for amateur radio. So my first goal is to assemble the bracket connector and then, for lack of a better option, gluing it to the base here so that I can set up the wires that will go out here and into this guy. So I'll wire this up and, and make the lead long enough that I can make the connection. We have a couple of automotive spade connectors. I will use some of this. Now ideally with those in place, the smart move is to kind of push them in as far as they can go. and then take this off. Uh, again, tap them into place and then hit this with some hot glue on the inside so that they stay firm. Ah, I just pulled it out. <laughs> they didn't crimp hard enough. Ah! I realize since we're using uh, PLA that super glue is gonna be a little bit better for this. So I'm just gonna drip some down here, let it settle in. This is the gel, so it's a little bit easier to play with. It'll settle down a bit, but then it'll dry and it'll hold them in place. Because I want them to be lined up right there like that. Yeah, well, uh, uh, the other storm's been pretty bad up here uh, uh, yesterday evening. Uh, I got my yard mowed. All right, the last thing to do is solder up these plugs here to match uh, the power output. And then we're going to adjust these. Ooh, I see a problem. Anybody else see my problem? What is my problem? The set screw is, is underneath uh, the plug here, so that's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to set this first, so let me slide this guy out first. We've got it plugged in. I'm going to carefully line up my parts here. Okay, we got power. So that's your 20, this is your 20 volt output. So we're going to adjust that down. I don't know how far this will go actually. I didn't really think about that, but it seems to be working. We gotta get this down to five. Oh yeah. Here 
we go, we got it. If you're looking at the cable connector, plug one through four, red, black. So pin one is right here, pin four is right there. So that should be, if we turn that around, yep, one and then four. So we'll solder it up. Okay, we have it connected. Uh, it was at 19, uh, 20 volts, but I started adjusting it. I needed to go find a smaller screwdriver because the other Anderson's plug is getting in the way. So let's go ahead and start dropping this down. We need this to be about 13.8. Whoa, quite a jump there. Okay, okay, we've got 13.76 volts, give or take. Uh, I can adjust that, but right now it seems to be working, so I'm not going to mess with it. Start up the radio. We have power to the radio. Great. All right, we've got the Raspberry Pi connected. I'm going to power it on. And we have power. Okay, excellent. So what's our, what's our draw right now? It looks like around 12 watts, 10 watts, 11 watts, a little under an amp draw. All right, I'm going to get Whisper going on the Raspberry Pi. It's booting up right now and we'll uh, we'll try it out. We are in 40 meter Whisper. I'm going to enable transmit and I'm going to say transmit next and we'll wait to see what happens. All right, we're transmitting. And it looks like we're going so let's let that run for a little while and see how well we do. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. Call this prototype number one of the drill battery adapter. I built this in uh, Fusion 360 and I printed it on my Flash Forge Creator Pro. I used a battery bracket that was available on Thingiverse and I will put links in the description for the bracket, and I'll figure out a way to get my build up on the group that we made for the Ham Radio Crash Course. It is a prototype, so feel free to remix it, do whatever you want. I'm gonna change it likely as I figure out a better way of integrating the bracket with the box. And I'm also not in love with the dimensions. I had to really force things into place. I don't really like that, so I may rethink it a bit. I'm very new at Fusion 360. In fact, this is the first time I had ever used it, and uh, that was a bit of a challenge in itself. So there's plenty of stuff left to do. I'm going to try this out and see how efficient the 5 amp hour battery is running my KX2 and my Raspberry Pi. If it works okay with a buck converter, which is going to lose some of that power, I assume, uh, I might actually deploy this in the field. So a bit more testing is needed. It was fun regardless. I was able to set this up in maybe about an hour. I'd take even less than that if I wasn't making a video. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment below what you think. I am Josh, KI6NAZ. Please consider checking out hamtactical.com, patreon.com forward slash hoshnasi, our wonderful Discord and Facebook page. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Links for everything again will be in the description. Check me out on Saturdays for the live stream, and I'll talk to you later. See ya.